different road awaits us tomorrow morning when we hit the one that leads to Utopia. Crosby, Hope and Lamore return at five past eleven. You're watching Channel 4. Now we join ITN for a special news report. Civil war is still raging in Romania. The army is appealing for help from Moscow in its battle against the pro-Ceausescu forces. ITN's Paul Davis is the first British television journalist to report from Bucharest. Here are his exclusive pictures. Chanting liberty, liberty, the Romanian people and large sections of the army joined forces on the streets of Bucharest last night to protect their newfound freedom. The largest crowds gathered around the television station, which has become the headquarters of the freedom movement. Young men armed with automatic weapons guarded entrances to the studios. Units of the army joined the defenders. They were expecting a counter-attack from troops loyal to President Ceausescu. Many young civilians prepared for the confrontation armed with nothing more than courage and a handful of homemade petrol bombs. If it is necessary, we fight with these bombs. With the petrol bombs? Yes, yes. We are prepared here. Do you have other weapons? No, we have n any weapons. This is an improvisation. The attack came just after one o'clock in the morning. Civilians caught in the crossfire as members of Ceausescu's secret police rained automatic fire on the television studios, whose defenders replied with gunfire and their petrol bombs. Inside the besieged television studios, tension as rumors circulated that the deposed president's agents had already infiltrated the building. All eyes and guns were trained on the lift shafts. The television workers say the secret police have tunnels leading here inside the television station. The reason their guns are pointed at the elevators is that they can't be sure just who will come through those doors next. The battle outside raged for more than three hours. It ended suddenly with the arrival of more tanks opposed to the old communist regime. It's now after five o'clock in the morning. The shooting has finally finished and the revolutionaries are still in charge of the television station. The crowd celebrated their victory as ambulances ferried away the casualties and the army launched a mopping up operation, pursuing those forces still loyal to Ceausescu, often coming under sniper fire as they chased an elusive enemy away from the city centre out into the suburbs. Paul Davis, ITN, Bucharest. There'll be more news on ITV at one o'clock.